Uh, Darren Dick Paper Mills Incorporated operates paper plant in Augusta and Tupper Lake warehouse facilities are located in Albany, New York and Portmouth, New, New Hampshire. Uh, distributors are located in Boston, New York, and Philadelphia. The plant capacities and distributor demands are as follows. So it's given, and then there is the solution here, given by the Excel. The first question is, draw the network diagram that represents the optimal transportation plan to minimize cost. All right. So let's use the first two letters to describe the places because uh, uh, you have more than one A's. Okay. Uh, the first thing that we see that is that Augusta and Tupper Lake, I'll use TL for that, uh, these are the two places of origin. And uh, let's see, Augusta to Albany, uh, there are two warehouses in between, which is Albany and then Portsmouth. Then uh, there are three destinations, which is Boston, New York, Philadelphia. Okay. Now Augusta to Albany is 50 units, so I put this and put 50 there. Augusta to Portsmouth is 250. So put 250. Uh, Tupper Lake to Albany is 100. Now Tupper Lake to Portsmouth is 0, so we don't put any arrows there. And then from Albany to Philadelphia is 150. So Albany to Philadelphia is 150. And then uh, Portsmouth to Boston is 150. Portsmouth to New York is 100. Okay, that's it. That's the network diagram that represents this table. How many units of paper enter Albany? Where is the paper shift from and at what cost? Well, you just have to look at this network diagram again, and it's about Albany, and you see that uh, f there's 50 coming from Augusta and 100 coming from uh, Tupper Lake, and you just have to record uh, what was the shipping cost, 7 and 3. So you write it like this, a uh, total of 150 units enter Albany. Augusta to Albany, there's 50 units coming in at uh, $7 per unit. 7 times 50 will give you 350 as the cost. Tupper Lake to Albany, it's 100 units. Oh, why did I put $100? It's 100 units at $3 per unit. Uh, 3 times 100 gives you $300. The total cost will be 650 Next question. Describe the path of the paper received in Portsmouth and sent from Portsmouth with cost and allocations. So we go back to the diagram again and we look at what's happening to uh, Portsmouth. Uh, there's 250 coming in from Augusta and then 150 is sent to Boston, whereas 100 is sent to New York. So uh, you just have to read off the cost again. Augusta to Portsmouth is Augusta to Portsmouth is 5 and then Portsmouth to Boston is 5 and then Portsmouth to New York is 6. So use that and uh, we write down uh, the receiving path Augusta sends 250 units to Portsmouth at $5 per unit. Uh, 5 times 250 is 1250. Uh, sending path will be Portsmouth sending to Boston 150 units times 5 is 750. Portsmouth sends 100 units to New York at 6 units, $6 per unit. 6 times 100 gives you $600. All right. Okay, so these were simple questions. Now uh, the more serious, harder part. Suppose that shipments between the two warehouses are permitted at $2 per unit 
and that shipments can be made from Augusta to Boston at a cost of $9 per unit. Develop a network diagram of this problem. Okay, well, we don't have the original network diagram of the problem, so we'll have to draw everything and then add these two extra information. So we have uh, Augusta, Tupper Lake, there's the Albany, and then Portsmouth, uh, Boston, New York, and then uh, Philadelphia. Okay, Augusta to Albany is 7, Augusta to Portsmouth is 5, okay, and then uh, Tupper Lake to Albany is 3, Tupper Lake to Portsmouth is 4, Albany to Boston, you see Albany to Boston here is 8, okay, Albany to New York is 5, Albany to Philadelphia is 7, Portsmouth to Boston is 5, Portsmouth to New York is 6, Portsmouth to Philadelphia is 10. So this is the original problem. Now let's add these information there. Uh, there are shipments allowed between two places and uh, you can send shipments from Alabama to Portsmouth at $2 per unit and also Portsmouth can send to Al Al uh, Albany at $2 per unit. Okay. Uh, now to write down the linear pro programming problem uh, it's good to put both arrows there uh, you could put just a single arrow but then later on you have to think about what's going on between them so it's easier to to put put both arrows okay uh, now from Augusta to Boston there's a new path which is just nine so we have this new one okay so that's the new network diagram Next question, the final question for this problem is what would change in the original linear programming model with the new routes from D? Well, let's write it over here. Um, we will start by numbering things. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. Now, Let's assume that we have the linear program for everything for the original problem and we'll just write down the uh, changed parts. Now for the origin nodes, the Tupper Lake didn't change at all, but Augusta changed. There was uh, this new new delivery route from Augusta to Boston, so we have to put that there. So for the Augusta, here's what's happening. Uh, X1 to 1 to 3 x 1 to 4 was supposed to be originally uh, the capacity was 300 so it's less than less or equal to 300 but because of this new route we have this new x 1 5 added in okay now let's go to the transshipment node Remember, uh, only the origin nodes are inequalities, and transshipment and destination nodes are equalities. So we're going to write down equations. For the transshipment, uh, it's basically uh, the total in should equal to total out. That's the equation. Right. So we're going to look at Albany first and say uh, there's 1, 3 coming in, x1, 3 is coming in, and also x2, 3 is coming in. That's, the, that's everything that's coming in, right? However, there's one more. There is something coming in from 4. That's the newly added route. So this new thing, x4 to 3, 4 to 3, is the new new thing that's added. Um, 
should equal to everything that's going out. Going out is 3 to 5, x3, 5, 3 to 6, x3, 6, 3 to 7, x3, 7. And in addition to this, there's uh, Albany to uh, Portsmouth that's going out, right? X3, 4. So that's the new thing that's added in. Similarly, we have to change the port's mouth. Uh, the things that are coming in are x14, x224, plus there's uh, something coming from 3. So x34 is added in. That's everything that's coming into port's mouth. Uh, going out of port's mouth is x45, x4. 6, x4, 7, and then uh, finally um, there is something going to uh, Albany, which is uh, x4, 3. Okay. So these, these uh, the, the ones that are marked in red are the, the changes that must be made. Now, uh, in the destination nodes, New York, Philadelphia has nothing changed except the Boston, Boston has something changed. There's a new route from Augusta, so we have to change that. So, so destination, uh, we need the uh, to everything coming in. So first, uh, for the Boston one, X three five X. 4, 5, okay, 3 to 5, 4 to 5. And then, in addition to this, there's something that's coming directly from Augusta, which is 1, 5. Now, for destination nodes, uh, total things that are coming in should equal to its demand. Boston has the demand of 150, so this is what's changed, okay? So this should be the, the changed things in our linear programming problem. So let's put it right here. Okay. 